one of the things Toddy Bob wants to do is take home some tin. I think I got uh, about maybe about 20 pieces up in the old shed, and I wanted to make something to set the tin on. So I got this board sitting here. I think I'm gonna cut a couple pieces to sit between there, and then we can lay the tin right on top of that. So I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there's a saw down here. Yeah, there it is, my old, my old uh, hibachi, Makita, Hitachi, oh, my old Hitachi saw from way back a million years ago. That'll do. I believe I might have a drop cord long enough to reach out here. Maybe. Or I could just cut it. Let's see where my nearest plug-in is. There's a plug-in right there. And I can stretch that out there, can I? Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can take that out there. Let's take that out there. And then we'll take a saw and do some high class fancy dancy woodwork in here. For the good of the for the good of the universe. I'm gonna cut this piece right about there. Well, dang, I say. See, that fits right in there just like it's made for it. Even if it was a hard cut. This old piece of wood here is uh, left over from something else. Can you remember what? I'm sure it's happy to find some usefulness in its old age. There's a little piece of the tin right there. So I'm going to have me a good clean up day down here in this shop after a while. I wanted to get Toddy Bob's trailer ready to go. We've got another trip coming up with grandkids here pretty soon and then after that I don't know if I got anything else on my need to do list or not but that might ride okay right there I'll let it see if it will I'll stop by up here and grab me some gloves to load that tin with so I won't slice my fingers up with it Oh, joy. Let's see if we can get this press to pull itself out of the ditch down here. that trailer. I can look a little better if I should find a bucket of soap and brush and wash some of the dust off in there. Be a nice thing to do for a little body bob. Eh? So I asked Toddy Bob how much tin he needed, and he said a bunch. So I'm gonna load a bunch, and then we'll see how much we got. And kinda go from there, I reckon. With that kind of inexact directions, I guess he gets what he gets, right? Mm-hmm. That's what I say. So, it's about 10 feet long. about middle ways. Oh, that fits right there. There we go. That's a 
That's a bunch. It looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. It looks like there's 20 pieces there to me. That's a bunch. Yeah. I got a few leftover pieces here. Scrap. I got some other things on the ground I might want to take to the house with me. They're old pieces of tarp that used to make up the top of a, uh, of a, of a top for a, pontoon boat and I was thinking about putting something on the ground around the pool move this trailer a little bit so I can see what I got here see, I got a bunch of these things and there's an area around my pool where the grass grows up through makes a big mess and it's almost impossible to cut. I think about, I am never going to use these. These are side panels for a pool. These ones with the screen, I don't know if they would keep grass from growing or not. I'm sure those solid pieces would. So I may just take that solid piece there and kind of work around the edge of the pool with it and see if I can use it to keep grass from growing. And we'll take that back to the house and uh, bundle it up with Toddy Bob. And uh, he'll be happy and I'll be happy. And, and uh, we'll all have a happy ending there. How about that? Hold the joy. So basically what I got left in here is insulation and a little bit of a couple of pieces of Big Ten that I didn't send. Uh, I might use them for something. But I got an old air compressor over there. I think it's froze up, but I saw one for sale the other day and I was wondering if I couldn't take that old other one. And it said it was missing the, uh, the pressure switch wasn't working. This one has a pressure switch. It's probably good. Although that was wired for 220, but I might could make this one and that one work together if I put them together and then I've got these other things here I hear a car going down the road yeah, I don't think that's anybody I know oh. Oh. all right I'll head on back I may ought to come up here with my mower and mow this. If I don't do it, nobody else is going to. Hmm. <coughs> Using my Toyota like it was a foe by foe. I think that's good enough. I'll uh, park that around back somewhere out of the way and uh, park it and he can, he can come get it when he feels right. Alrighty then. Okay, she's all ready to go. The uh, hubs are packed. All the same matching wheels and tires, aired up where they're supposed to be. Uh, you know, this would be pretty easy to make a flatbed out of. This little thing in here that sticks up can be removed with bolts. And these little things that run down there for boat runners can the same way. But if you took all that off, you'd almost have a flatbed frame there. It wouldn't take much to, to uh, make it all the way a flatbed trailer, if that's what he wants. He might want to leave it like it is. You know, it'd be perfect for hauling logs and stuff, just like it is. So, anyway, there it is. Two-inch ball, Todd. Bring your own lights and tag. See ya.